Hey you guys, Jaren here, and today I've got a really cool concept for you, which is the concept of events. And uh, before we get started, I'd like to say that you should probably have a decent understanding of how functions with parameters work uh, before you uh, move on to this concept. So if you don't know what functions with parameters are, I'd check out those concepts and badges before moving on to this one. All right, so function or uh, events allow you to run code when something happens. And this is really handy because our brains are already wired to sort of think in terms of cause and effect. Right? So it's it's a really nice programming tool. And I've made a cool example that makes it so that whenever I break a block in my Minecraft server right now, an explosion happens right where that block was broken. So I'll go ahead and show you. First I'll uh, set it to daytime so that you can actually see what's going on. Okay, cool. So I'll break a block and then boom. Cool, right? So, and that's because I was able to tell the server, hey server, I want you to run some function that creates an explosion whenever somebody breaks a block. And that's basically the pseudocode for this little mod I made that allows me to punch blocks and create that explosion. Pretty cool, right? All right, so uh, I'll go ahead and switch over to the code and I'll show you how this works. So it's actually very simple. It's only three lines of code. And um, the main block that you need to understand here for events is this block right here, which you'll get from this events category under Minecraft is do function blank when blank happens. All right, so this first blank is where you wanna put the function that you want to run when your event is fired. And this is also called an event handler, okay? So that's what where you plug in the code that you want to actually run when the event is fired. And then the second slot right here this is the kind of event that you want your code to respond to. So in this case, it's the block break event, right? So this is the block that says, um, that's telling the server when the, ex when the block break event occurs, I want you to run this explosion function. Now, explaining this explosion function, there's one main point that you need to understand here, and that's that it has this special kind of parameter that is sent along with the event by the server to the uh, event handler that contains some information that's specific to the event. And in this case, what I'm using this for is to get the block that was broken. So I'm getting the block object that was broken out of the event. That way, I can make the explosion occur at the location of that block that was broken. Okay, so it's kind of a two-step process here. I'm getting the block out of the event parameter, right here with this, and I'm setting it to a variable called block, and then I'm getting the location out of that block with this, uh, with this piece of code here, and that's where I'm creating the explosion. All right, so to summarize, events allow you to run code when something happens, and uh, the code that you run is also called your event handler. And then the, uh, the when something happens is called your event type. So that's the kind of event that you want to respond to. All right, thanks for watching, guys.